Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything. And everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today. I'm doing pretty well. I'm all over the place today. Got a pretty crazy day, so I'm going to keep it short. What I wanted to talk about was how Kratom is coming in clutch for me today. And by that I mean I have a lot to do. I don't have a lot of time to do it. And Kratom is like saving the day. And um, so I'll start with what I took. So I took green sunda. I took two and a half grams of green sunda. And the reason why, uh, among other reasons being that, you know, I I recently had a business trip to New York and green sunda really was, was helpful for me in a lot of different ways. And, and then also just the fact that I haven't had it in a while. And that distance between the last time I took it and today is something that I think works well and favorably for me, because when I do have that time in between, Uh, whether it's one that I take often or if it's one that I haven't had in a while and I normally don't have it in a while. I do find that it works a bit better in certain ways, if not a lot, Um, but but it's not necessarily a tolerance thing because I still feel the effects of Kratom pretty similarly, if not the same, no matter what, but it's more of just like how helpful it can be. So green Sunda, two and a half grams, give or take, and um, it's helping me in a few ways. So first off, when I have a mountain of work to do, It's not that I get intimidated by it, but it's more of just like, oh boy, this is going to be a slog and I don't want to start it. (laughs) I mean, I don't really put it off, but it's like, it's just huge uh, hesitation, really, you know, a very short one, but it's like, oh, I really don't want to start this because I know it's going to be a lot. But um, Kratom helps me get over that barrier. It makes me think like, oh, yep. All right. This is what we got to do. Let's do it. Bring it on. So that's a really huge help. It also helps me in a way of confidence. And I did an episode on confidence you should check out. Uh, it's not that Kratom gives me confidence, but what, what it does do is help me manifest confidence in myself. And I think that that's healthier anyway. So that's another thing. Having confidence, being pumped up, ready to go. And then the last thing is being able to, I guess, just think on my toes and act quickly. Today's a day where I'm going to be driving a lot and then doing a few meetings and then doing some writing after I drive a lot again. Those days are like the craziest for me, and they pop up now and then with my job. Kratom is super helpful for this because I can, you know, get energy from my whites. I can get that um, confidence, motivation, whatever it may be that that I kind of talked through earlier with a green or with a green-white combo. I can kind of do both those things and then also just like it... It just makes me feel like I can take on the day. If the day is not happening to me, I am going to happen to the day and it's it, it better be ready, you know? <laughs> so it's like a way of turning it around, you know? Turn the day on its head. Make it so that it must submit to me. Ha ha ha. Anyway, that's a bit ridiculous, but but that really is how I see it and it, and it helps a lot. So those are the ways that it's helping me so far and I know that it will continue to. Here's my plan. Green Sunda, two and a half grams this morning. That's been helpful in kind of breaking through that morning barrier. And it's making me feel like I can actually take on today. And I've been doing pretty well so far. And um, it, I have to make a note here and say that no one should take Kratom before driving or, you know, should take Kratom at all. I'm not advocating for it. 
I have to do a lot of traveling today, but I'm not driving. I will be sitting in the car. So um, I'm not taking this Kratom and then driving. But what I am doing is being in a car for a while and having to, you know, think and write and talk with someone from my job about different things while they drive and answer questions as we head to a meeting. So it's still a bit intensive. It makes me like, I don't know, being in a car and doing that sort of thing makes it even harder because it's already somewhat of a difficult, you know, job. But to have to do it while traveling just makes it a little more difficult because it just throws me out of my element. Maybe some people wouldn't have a problem with that, but I do. But Kratom helps me a great deal with that. Keeps me focused, keeps me confident, right? And then once I get to the meetings, probably right before I actually do the meetings, that's when I'll probably bust out the white. I'm thinking maybe a white tie or a white mang da. And I'm kind of leaning towards the white mang da because I haven't had that in a while. And that's like a heavy hitter for me. It's like, this is going to be four hours of a lot of energy and uh it, but controlled you know like focused energy it's not like drinking a cup of coffee and my heart pounds in different directions and is jumping on the walls inside and and it's just like do anything do anything but do it now <laughs> no it's like white mang da keeps me focused keeps me on point but it does provide me with a good boost in energy and, and it's longer term so it means that even though I'll have two meetings and something in between, I can keep up that level of engagement without, you know, tiring out. And it's just the nature of it all. I get tired out midday. Like, I feel like the sorts of jobs that people do these days, evolutionarily, hmm, they don't quite make sense. So, you know, I think it makes sense that one might get tired out from a job midday. All right. That's what I'm saying. If that's me, you know, uh, accepting the fact that I might get a little bit lazy midday just, just for like 15 minutes, then so be it. And I'm proud to say it. <laughs> anyway, so after I have my white mang da, and I, you know, honestly, I'll, I'll gauge it there, but I'll probably have like two grams of that. Then that should take me through most of the rest of the work day. If I've got anything left, you know, in terms of work when I get back to my office and I still have to power through a few more things, at that point, I might need a little booster because it's a long day and getting back to an office after a long day and having to still do something like write up reports or, you know, uh, read through something to, to make notes for a meeting the next day. That's a lot for me. That's like when I'm the most burnt out and the least likely to be productive. And that's also a very helpful point for Kratom. I honestly might just go to Green Mang Da at that point because that way, I don't know, it's almost like it's like riding the Mang Da train. It's like if I take, you know, White Mang Da and then I jump to Green Mang Da later on in the day, I feel like that's a nice transition. So I'm going to do that. So that's kind of my plan. I'll probably take like one or one and a half grams of Green Mang Da at the end of the day because I don't want to overdo it. And I really, I've, I do not take Kratom three times a day too often. And when I do, I make sure to take very, very low amounts because I really don't want to take too much. And um, if I take too much, I'll get sick and then I'll be very, very unproductive and nobody wants that. <laughs> so that's kind of my plan today. Sorry, I was kind of like talking through this a bit quickly, but I, as I've said, it's a long day, but you all are important to me and I prioritize you too. So had to get an episode out there. You all rock. Thank you for listening. Wish me luck. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow. Take it easy, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>